the law of diminishing marginal returns. What we have here is a, a relationship between two different economic inputs and output, and we're going to see that this relationship is not linear. If one of our two inputs is fixed, Let's suppose we're talking about the amount of land that a farmer has to work with. Suppose he has 10 hectares of land, and with that, this one farmer working very hard can produce a thousand bushels in the growing season. Well, 10 hectares of land is, is not that much, so he's really farming very intensively and putting a lot of labor with each unit of land. Let's suppose that the amount of land that he has to farm doubles to 20 hectares. Now he can produce a, a lot more corn, but he won't double his production because now each additional unit of land has proportionately less of his time and energy in order to work with. So maybe he can get 800 more bushels for a total of 1,800. His total has increased, but the marginal or the extra amount was not as great as it was for the first 10 hectares of land. Let's suppose we add another 10 hectares, bringing his total to 30. Now with more land at his disposal, he will produce more, but his increase his marginal amount of production won't be as great as it was before because now each additional unit of land has proportionately less of his labor to work with. We would see this trend continue as we went up to 40 or 50 hectares of land. His total output would increase but by a diminishing amount marginally each time. If we were to graph this relationship, it would look something like this. We would see input on this axis and output on this axis. And as the amount of land increased, the total amount of output would increase also, but by less and less of a marginal increase. In other words, we don't see a purely linear relationship between input and output. We see a kind of asymptotic relationship, a leveling off. This is the law of diminishing marginal returns.